All right, Ed, we have a small window of opportunity once we get into the customer's home inspection to build that trust. And sometimes we can't. How do you get the customer to trust us quickly? Yeah, I, I think one of the things that you see and hear oftentimes in every sales book you would read is that people buy from who? They buy from people that they, they like, like right? and they trust. Mm -hmm. And I always have questioned that trust, right? I mean, how do you build trust in, in a two hour to three hour time period when you're asking somebody for 10 grand, right? right. I mean, I, I think that's difficult, right? So you, you walk into their door, it's typically an unexpected expense. You know, you, you come down out of their attic or up out of their crawl space or up out of their basement and say, you know, hey, Bubba, I need, I need 10 grand, right? You know, trust me, you know, yeah. you like me, trust me. I, I think that's difficult. I think that's difficult in any situation. So, so what, I, what I would like to encourage you to do is to let them trust you by saying this. Okay. I'm not saying it out loud, I mean, but just kind of planting that seed. Would you trust me more if I didn't ask for any of your money until all the work was done and you were completely satisfied with the service and the results that service renders? Would you trust me more if I had a chance to come back and check the job before you paid me? Would you trust me more if my boss, who's been here for 25 years, had a chance to come back, check the job, make sure it's not only up to state standards, but up to Orkin's high standards before you paid me? So think about building trust that way, building trust with their wallet, looking them in the eyeball and saying, you know, you don't need to say, you don't need right. to trust me, but think about how you spin that different than your competitors to where, you know, they're walking in the door and saying, hey, I need, uh, I need half down and then the balance on completion or when my team finishes the work, I need the money then. You talk about building trust, you know, I don't know how you build trust in a couple hours. I'm not that, that trusting guy. I'll trust you after you give reason for me to trust you. You know, I'm not one of those people that trust you until you, until you do me wrong. I, you build trust with me by, by proving that you're trustworthy. Right. So, so think about that. Maybe that's over, overthinking it, but what RAC does and the deferred billing close is allows you to hammer home trust. It, it, it's not even in question anymore. They don't even have to trust you. They can use their wallet and use that as leverage for trust. Right. And Think it takes that. the sales process out the door. Absolutely. That's, that's a wonderful approach. Look them in the eye and say, we don't need your money. We are so confident in the work that there our fellows go. do that we don't need any money up front until I get a chance to come back and check it. My boss comes back. Then once you're happy, I get a chance to take some after pictures. Then we'll settle up. How's that sound? That makes sense. Building trust that way? I like it. A little stronger. <laughs> Absolutely.